The committee will come to order. Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare a recess of the committee at any time. Welcome to today's hearing entitled Artificial Intelligence, Advancing Innovation in the National Interest. I recognize myself for five minutes for an opening statement. Good morning and welcome to what I anticipate will be one of the first of multiple hearings on artificial intelligence that the Science, Space, and Technology Committee will hold this Congress. As we've all seen, AI applications like ChatGPT have given, taken the world by storm. The rapid pace of technological progress in this field, primarily driven by American researchers, technologists, and entrepreneurs, presents a generational opportunity for Congress. We must ensure the United States remains the leader in a technology that many experts believe is as transformative as the internet and electricity. The purpose of this hearing is to explore an important question, perhaps the most important question for Congress regarding AI. How can we support innovation development in AI so that it advances our national interest? For starters, most of us can imagine, agree that this is in our national interest to ensure cutting edge AI, AI research continues happening here in America and is based on our democratic values. Although the United States remains the country where the most sophisticated AI research is happening, this gap is narrowing. A recent study by Stanford University ranked universities by the number of AI papers they published. The study found that nine of the top 10 universities were based in China. Coming in at 10th was the only U.S. institution, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Chinese published papers received nearly the same percentage of citations as U.S. researchers' papers, showing the gap in research quality is also diminishing. It is in our national interest to ensure the United States has a robust innovation pipeline that supports fundamental research all the way through to real-world applications. The country that leads in commercial and military applications will have a decisive advantage in global economic and geopolitical competition. The front lines of the war in the Ukraine are already demonstrating how AI is being applied to the 21st century warfare. Autonomous drones, fake images, audio used for propaganda, and real-time satellite imagery analysis are all small taste of how AI is shaping today's battlefields. However, while it's critical that the U.S. support advances in AI, these advances do not have to come at the expense of safety, security, fairness, or transparency. In fact, embedding our values in AI technology development is central to our economic competitiveness and national security. As members of Congress, our job is never to lose sight of the fact that our national interest ultimately lies with what is best for the American people. The Science Committee has and can continue to play a pivotal role in the service on this mission. For starters, we can continue supporting the application of AI in advanced science and new economic opportunities. AI is already being used to solve fundamental problems in biology, chemistry, and physics. These advances have helped us develop novel therapeutics, design advanced semiconductors, forecast crop yields, saving countless amounts of time and money. The National Science Foundation's AI Research Institutes, the Department of Energy's world-class supercomputers, and the National Institutes of Standards and Technology's risk management framework and precision measurement expertise are all driving critical advances in this area. Pivotal to our national interest is ensuring these systems are safe and trustworthy. The committee understood that back in 2020 when it introduced the Bipartisan National Artificial Intelligence Initiative Act of 2020. This legislation created a broad national strategy to accelerate investments in responsible AI research, development, and standards. It facilitated new public-private partnerships to ensure the U.S. leads the world in the development and use of responsible AI systems. Our committee will continue to build off of this work to establish and promote technical standards for trustworthy AI. We are also exploring ways to mitigate risks caused by AI systems through research and development of technical solutions, such as using automation to detect AI-generated media. As AI systems proliferate across the economy, we need to develop our workforce to meet changing skill requirements. Helping U.S. workers augment their performance with AI will be a critical pillar in maintaining our economic competitiveness. And while the United States currently is the global leader in AI research, development, technology, our adversaries are catching up. The Chinese Communist Party is implementing AI industrial policy at a national scale, investing billions through state-financed investment funds, designating national AI champions, and providing preferential tax treatment to grow AI startups. 
we cannot and should not try to copy China's playbook. But we can maintain our leadership role in AI, and we can ensure its development with our values of trustworthiness, fairness, and transparency. To do so, Congress needs to make strategic investments, build our workforce, and establish proper safeguards without overregulation. But we cannot do it alone. We need the academic community, the private sector, and the open source community to help us figure out how to shape the future of this technology. I look forward to hearing the recommendations of our witnesses on how this committee can strengthen our nation's leadership in artificial intelligence and make it beneficial and safe for all American citizens.